Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the beginning of the parade has reached our little area. Please give it up for our amazing Arlington Police! The Arlington Police Motorcycles, the first Arlington Police Motorcycle Officer hit streets in 1912. In those days, it was mostly Indian brand motorcycles, but today it's a mix of motorcycle brands dominated, of course, by Harley Davidson. Motorcycle officers support the patrol division, conduct escorts, direct traffic, and perform traffic enforcement duties. Led by Dickie Hill, former UT All-American football player. Thank you for standing for the colors. This is the Arlington Police Color Guard, established in 1986. The Arlington Color Guard maintains a presence at local, national, and international events and events and ceremonies to honor fallen officers. And next up, we have the Arlington Parade Banner. Members of the General Motors United Auto Workers Riding Team are carrying the parade banner for the 29th year. Team members are employees, retirees, family, and friends who work at the Arlington plant. The first car rolled off the assembly line in 1954. And now it is the only GM plant that produces their large SUVs. Thank you to the generous businesses, individuals, and institutions that make our parade possible. And of course you can hear the amazing Sabine High School Cheer! The Sabine Cheer program is the spirit of one Sabine High School. These cheerleaders support their school and their community. They are a professional performance dance team that has won many awards as lyrical jazz, contemporary pop, and hip hop. They're led by the captain in the blue hat, Jessica Escada. Where is Shaq? There she is! Get it, Shaq! Special shout out to the amazing Shaq, who is the fearless leader of the star line. Go, Shaq! And next up, we have the One Seguin High School Band. The Seguin High School career marching band is led by drum majors Indiana Clement and Bianca Villagrano. This marks the 20th year of Juan Seguin High School, and the Cougar Band is proud to represent Juan Seguin High School and our community. I love their shirt, so pretty. is our newly elected mayor, Jim Ross. Jim Ross, recently elected mayor of Arlington, is a Marine, former Arlington police officer, local attorney, and business owner. He is riding a Rolls Royce provided by Sam Marouk. Let's go on the road! And next up, we have the Dragon Boat Festival Race for Education. This injury represents the Dragon Boats that are used in the Dragon Boat Festival Race for Education. This is 
second year for the Dragon Boat Race. This event will be held at Lake Everidian on Saturday, September 8th. Well, I think it's our city council. It's our city council. Some members of the Arlington City Council and their families are riding atop an Arlington fire truck. Arlington City Council members include Helen Boyd, Raul Gonzalez, Nikki Hunter, Andrew Peel, Rebecca Boxall, Ruby Sherry, Dr. Veritas, Victoria Farrar, and Dr. Barbara Otis Wesley. And following behind is the Arlington Police Department Citizens on Patrol. The Arlington Police Department COB Mobile Volunteer Program empowers citizens to actively patrol their neighborhoods and take steps to solving problems and preventing new issues. That leads the Arlington Fire Department. They serve at 17 different fire stations within the city serving 24 hours each 48 hours. Not only do firefighters put out fires, but they're also active in the fire emergencies. And right behind them is the American Medical Response. This medical transportation company serves Arlington with 13 city-of-the-art emergency vehicles and more than 100 employees locally to make sure each call is answered quickly. And here are our friends from the Arlington Animal Services. No pet ownership responsibility shouldn't be taken lightly. Each of the shelter takes in about 12,000 lost or abandoned pets. If you'd like a dog or cat, think about checking with the shelter first. There are lots of great pets looking for it forever. And next up, my favorite, because it's my work, is Arlington ISD. The Arlington Independent School District's one-room schoolhouse float entry will depict the theme of this year's parade. School board trustees, the superintendent of schools, and their families are riding on the float. More importantly, they're my bosses, so everyone say hello! Happy Fourth of July! All the way, I'm glad you made it back. Hello, Justin Java. And in case you didn't notice, the theme of this year's parade is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Every great city needs a great university, and UTA is ours. UTA serves not only our community, but the world, with over 230,000 alumni across the globe. UTA is ranked among the top tier of national research universities by the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education. UTA is also ranked as the number one four-year college for military veterans and their families in the U.S. for the second consecutive year. It's fifth in our nation for diversity of undergraduate students and has 16 graduate programs nationally ranked by the U.S. News and World Report. Here they are. Go UTA Mavericks! I got my master's degree. Oh, yeah. oh, We're alumni. We are. Thank you, UTA. We're the masters. And the masters. And the masters. And all the time. All right, let's get this up. On your mark, say go. And next up, we have the State Senate Beverly Powell. State Senator as representative of District 10. State Senators Beverly Powell's district includes Arlington, Mantigo, Dow, Vision Gardens, Mansfield, Forward, and the Mid Cities, and other places here at Calvin. Next up, we have Kettlelight Inn Restaurant. Kettlelight Inn Restaurant is the oldest restaurant in our Kettlelight is known for serving steak, spec back to Italian pizza, and other fine dishes. Here's another very Elementary. SCSC is located at 19 South Hall. 
Let's hear some of those car horns. Next up, we have the Health Center for LGBT Health and Wellness. Here is the Health Center for LGBT Health and Wellness. Thank you, sponsors. Health and Wellness. Thank you, members of health staff and Thank you. 